an oasis of green in the heart of Caracas. In between the city's skyscrapers, hotels and a freeway, an urban farm created by the government. It's on a patch of land slightly bigger than a football field. The idea? To give people a better diet and sell the extra food they grow. The government has helped finance hundreds of these urban farms over the last decade. The agriculture sector is strong and gets lots of attention. It has machinery, but it's only for them. Now we're able to start producing even if we don't have loads of money. Urban farmers sell the organic food they grow direct to people who live nearby, and prices are kept low. There's not much difference between one of these and an allotment or small urban garden anywhere else in the world, except for here, there are many more of them. The National Farmers Association says the program doesn't work. It argues it is larger farms that are more important. It won't work. They, they, they have tried before, probably four or five years ago, they tried to do that. But they don't really like it. They don't really know how to do it. And I, I would say it won't be successful. The Ministry of Agriculture and Lands recently released figures showing an almost 8% fall in land available for crops last year. And the amount produced dropped by around 1%. And this in a country with lots of good, fertile countryside. The ministry says farmers lack the technical know-how and faced funding delays. But this government farm worker rejects accusations of mismanagement. Como te digo, es una... We believe in this program, but there are a lot of people that don't see the point in it. So we take little steps to consolidate what we are doing and make people believe that it will work and last. But with output dropping, the government's opponents will make agriculture a key issue in October's presidential election. Rodri Davis, Al Jazeera, Caracas.